come, my horse delayed, nom nom, the substance of the tale of the evangelical bussy buzzy and the Russian Urbian, the girls, he would keep calling them for the collarette and skirt, the sunbonnet and carnation. In parts, it seemed he was before the ayats of martyrs, or otherwares the thirds of fossil years, he having beam with catcher when Lavinia's had her men's lease to see in a sump ship doodly show, whereat he was looking for fight niggers with wild horses, oft in the chilly night, the metagonistic, the epic calamorous, during uneasy slumber, in their hearings of a small and stony broke cash draper's executive, Peter Cloran, discharged, O'Mara, an ex-private secretary of no fixed abode, locally known as Mildew Liza, who had passed several nights, funnish enough, in a doorway under the blankets of homelessness on the bunk of Iceland, pillowed upon the stone of destiny, colder than man's knee or woman's breast, and Hosty, no slouch of a name, an ill-starred beach busker, who, sans rooty and sans scrapy, suspicioning as how he was setting on a tood stool on the verge of self abyss, most starved, with melancholia over everything in general, night beer man you served him with natty girls, nano, had been towhead tossing on his shakedown, devising ways and manners of means of what he loved to if he'd a license somehow or other in the nation, getting a hold of some chap's parabellum in the hope of taking a wing sociable and lighting upon a side-wheel dive somewhere off the dulky, down Larry and bleak rookie tramline, where he could throw true and go and blow the sibicidal napper off himself for two bits to Boldywell Baltitude in the peace and quietibus of a one sure shot bottle. He, after having been trying all he knew with the lady's help of Madame Gristle for upwards of eighteen calendars to get out of Sir Patrick Dunn's through Sir Humphrey Jarvis's and into the St. Kevin's bed in the Adelaide's hospitals, from those incurable Wellesleys among those uncarable Wellers days, through Santiago by his cockle hat, good Lazar deliver us, without after having been able to jerry wangle it any sides. Liza O. Davis and Roach Mungan, who had so much in common, epipsychedically if the phrase be permitted, hostess et odor in super petro perfractus, as an understood thing slept their sleep of the swim morn in the one sweet undulant mother of tumbler bunks with hostie, just how the shavers in the shore, the yokels in the yotes, or, well, the wasters in the wild, and the bustling tweeny dawn of all works, mead of anthems, here we pant, had not been many jiffies, furbishing, potlids, door brasses, scholars' apple cheeks and link boys' metals, when a shopper-minded like no fella he go make bacon beg for long a white man, the rejuvenated busker, for after a good night's rave and rumble and a shinkum's top morning with his coexes he was not the same man, and his broad-awake bedroom suite, our boys, as our Byron called them, where up in a shuffle from the hog's home they love name the barrel, cross Eblin's chilled hamlet, try roots and restings on their then superficies, curiously correspondent with those linea and puncta where are tobbany hapenny metro manny plums below the overflake under rails and stations at this time of riding, to the thrummings of a crude fiddle, which cremoning and cremoning, lavy, gravy, witty and wavy, appy, leppy and playable, caressed the ears of the subjects of King St. Finnerty the Festive, who in brick homes of their own, and in their flavoury phrasebury beds, heeding hardly cry of honeyman, sweet lavender, or foin boin salmon alive, with their priggish mouths all open, for the larger appreciation of this long-awaited messiah of roratorios, were only half past at sweep, and after a brisk pause at a pawnbroking establishment, for the prothetic purpose of redeeming the songster's truly admirable false teeth, and a prolonged visit to a house of call at Kuja's place, Fizz, the old sots hole in the parish of St. Cecily, within the liberty of Kjolmore, not a thousand or one national leagues that was by Griffith's valuation, from the site of the statue of Primua Glastone, setting a match to the march of a maker, last of the stewards per tetra, where the tale rambles along, the trio of whack the diddlers was joined by a further intentions apply tomorrow casual and a decent sort of the had-been variety, who had just been touching the weekly insult few 
and all fig blabbers who saith of noun had stimulants in the shape of G&Gs stood by the damn decent sort, after which stag luncheon and a few ones more just to celebrate yesterday, flushed with their fire-stuff fostered friendship, the rascals came out of the licensed premises. Browns first, the small PSXX executive cap a hand in their sad rear, like a lady's postscript. I want money, please then. Wiping their laugh-leaking lights on their sleeves, how the Buccaleans shout their roskin generally, Shen Fin, Shen Fin's were on, and the rhymer's world was with reason the richer for a would-be ballad, to the ballader of which the world of humanity singing owes a tribute for having placed on the planet's mellow map his lay of the vilest bogia, but most attractionable avatar the world has ever had to explain for. This more correctly Lubin, or fellow me leader, was first poured forth where Rio Livio riots and Calderhudo humps under the shadow of the monument of the should-have-been legislator, Eleutherio Denron, spare, woodman, spare, to an overflow meeting of all the nations in Leinster, fully filling the visional area, and as a single-minded super-crowd, easily representative, what with masks wet with faces of all sections and cross-sections, wine shop and cocoa house poured out to brim up the broaching of our liffy-side people, to omit to mention of the mainland minority and such as had wayfared by a watling, urn in Icknild and Stain, in chief a halted cockney car with its quotal of Hardmouth's hacks, a northern Tory, a southern Whig, an East Anglian chronicler and a Landwester guardian ranging from slips of young Dubliners from Cutpurse Row, having nothing better to do than walk about with their hands in their knee pants, sucking air whackers, we elicit jumbo bricks, side by side with truant officers, three woolen balls and poplin in search of a crust of pawn, to busy professional gentlemen, a brace of pales men with Dundrearies, nooning toward dailies, fresh from snipe hitting and mallard missing on Rutland Heath, exchanging cold sneers, Mass-going ladies from Hume Street in their chairs, the bearers baited, some wandering hammerlags out of the adjacent clover fields of Mosses Gardens, an oblate father from Skinner's Alley, bricklayers, a Fleming in Tabinet Fumant with spouse and dog, an aged hammersmith who had some chiselers by the hand, a bout of cudgel players, not a few sheep with the braxy, two blue-coat scholars, four broke gents out of Simpsons on the Rocks, a portly and a pert still tassing turkey coffee and orange shrub in Tick Eye's door, Peter Pym and Paul Fry, and then Elliot and O. Atkinson, suffering hell's delights from the blains of their annuitants acorns, not forgetting a deuce of Diana's ridey for the hunt, a particularist prebendary pondering on the Roman Easter, the tonsure question, and Greek uniates, Plunkum, a lace lappet head, or two or three or four from a window, and so on down to a few good old souls, who, as they were juiced after taking their pledge over at the uncle's place, were evidently under the spell of liquor. From the wake of Tarry the tailor, a fair girl, a jolly poster boy, thinking of three flagons and one, a pluma droll, a half-sir from the weaver's arms house, who clings and clings and cha-cha-cha clings to her, a whole dam's cloud-hued petticoat, as child, as curio later, as keek o'leary. The war arrow went round, so it did. A nation wants a gaze, and the ballad, in the felibrine trancopid meter, affectioned by Tayo Sabo in his Casudas de Purishinello Arto, stump stampaded onto a slip of blank ovide, and headed by an excessively rough and red woodcut, privately printed at the rhyme press of Delville, soon fluttered its secret on white highway and brown byway to the rose of the winds and the blue of the gales, from archway to lattice and from black hand to pink ear, village crying to village through the five pussy fours green of the United States of Scotia Picta, and he who denays it may his hairs be rubbed in dirt. To the added strains, so peacefold, of his majesty the flute, that one-crooned king of instruments, piggest's purest, cielo al soluto, which Mr. Delaney, Mr. De Lacey, Horn, anticipating a perfect downpour of plaudits among the rhapsods, piped out of his decent sort hat, looking still more like his Percival namesake, as men of Gaul noted, 
But before of to spot about, the snowy crested curl, a moist the leader's wild and molting hair, Dr. Hitchcock hoisted his fezzy fuzz at bludgeon's height, signum to his companions of the chalice for the loud fellow boys, and silentium in curia, our maypole once more where he rose of old, and the canto was chanted there, chorused and christened where, by the old toll gate, St. Anona's street and church. And around the lawn the ran it ran, and this is the ran that Hosty made, spoken, boils and kyles, skerrits and pritchards, versified and piercified, made the tree we tale of live in stony. Here line the refrains of. Some vote him bike, some vote him mike, some dub him Shin and Finn, while others hail him Lug, Bug, Danlop, Lex, Lax, Gun or Gwyn. Some apt him Arth, some bapt him Barth, Call, Nol, Sol, Will, Wheel, Wall, but I parse him Perse O'Reilly, else he's called no name at all. Together, and I'll leave it to Husty, Frosty, Husty, leave it to Husty, for he's the man to rhyme the Ran, the Ran, the Ran, the king of all Rans. Have you here? Some hat. Have we where? Some hat. Have you heard? Others do. Have we heard? Others don't. It's coming, it's brumming, the clip, the clop, all cla glass, crash. The clicker, clacker, clasker, cloppets, clatcher, batter, crippy, crotty, grada, semi, sammy, knew it, a pladdy, a pladdy, con, cot. Ardite, ardite, music cue, the ballad of Perse O'Reilly. Have you heard of one Humpty Dumpty, how he fell with a roll and a rumble, and curled up like Lord Hall of a crumple, by the butt of the magazine wall, of the magazine wall, hump helmet and all? He was one time our king of the castle, now he's kicked about like a rotten old parsnip, and from Green Street he'll be sent by order of his worship to the penal jail of Mount Joy, to the jail of Mount Joy, jail of Mount Joy. He was for the father of all schemes for to bother us, Slow coaches and immaculate contraceptives for the populace. Mare's milk for the six, seven dry Sundays a week. Open air love and religion's reform. And religious reform. Hideous in form. Out of voice as you couldn't, he manage it. I'll go bail my fine dairyman, darling. Like the bumping bull of the Cassidy's. All your butter is in your horns. His butter is in his horns. Butter is horns. Hurrah there, hosty, frosty, hosty, change that shirt on you. Rhyme the ran, the king of all rans. Balbaccio, balbuccio. We had chaw chaw chops, chairs, chewing gum, the chicken pox and china chambers, universally provided by the soft soaping salesman. Small wonder he'll cheat out of one our local lads nicknamed him when Chimpton first took the floor with his bucket shop store down bargain bag lore. So snug he was in his hotel premises, sumptuous, but soon will bonfire all his trash tricks and trumpery, and to short till Sheriff Clancy will be winding up his unlimited company with the bailiff's bomb at the door, bim bam at the door, then he'll bomb no more. Sweet bad luck on the waves washed to our island, the hooker of that hammerfast Viking, and God's curse on the day when Eblana Bay saw his black and tan man o' war, saw his man o' war on the harbour bar. Where from Ross Pool Beg cooking halfpence balls done him was scamp it'll wicked wipe and fampany. Fingal McCosker on a sin barger's bonny face. Talks mine Gamelhorn or Vigiker's moniker. Augers I at Gamelhorn or Vigiker's cod. A Norwegian camel old cod. He is be God. Lift it, hasty, lift it, you devil, you up with the ran, the rhyming ran. It was during some fresh water garden pumping, or according to the nursing mirror while admiring the monkeys, that our heavyweight heathen Humphrey made bold a maid to woo. Woo, what'll she do? The general lost a maiden loo. He ought to blush for himself, the old hay-headed philosopher, for to go and shove himself that way on top of her. Be gobbies the crux of the catalogue of our antediluvial zoo. Messrs. Billing and Coo know as larks good as new. He was jolted by Wellington's monument, our notorious hippo papotamans, when some bugger let down the back trap of the omnibus, and he caught his death of fusiliers, with his rent in his rears, give him six years. Tis our pity for his innocent poor children, but look out for his missus legitimate. When that fru gets a grip of old Erica, won't there be ear wigs on the green, big ear wigs on the green, the largest ever you seen. Sophocles, Shakespeare, Pseudodanto, Anonymoses.
Then we'll have a free trade, Gales band and mass meeting for to sod the brave son of Scandinavery and we'll bury him down in Oxman's town along with the devil and Danes, with the deaf and dumb Danes and all their remains. And not all the king's men nor his horses will resurrect his corpus for there's no true spell in Connaught or Hell that's able to raise a cane that's able to raise a cane. Chest C, stents, corpo di barraggio. You spoof of visibility in a freak fog, of mixed sex cases among goats, hill cat and plain mousy, bigamy Bob and his old Shanwacht. The Black Friars' treacle plaster outrage belittled. Therewith was released in that king's rick of humidia a poisoning volume of cloud barrage indeed. Yet all they who heard or re-delivered are now with that family of bards and Virgo Bretus himself and the crowd of caracolacticors as much no more as be they not yet now or had they then not ever been. Can be in some future. We shall presently hear amid those suave players of Inkerman the mime mumming the mick and his nick miming their maggies. Hilton St. Just, Mr. Frank Smith, Ivan Santostel, Mr. J. F. Jones, Coleman of Lucan taking four parts, a choir of the Odelio Doyles double sixing the chorus in Fen McCall and the Servant Peeries of Lochney. Galloper Trompler and Hurley Quinn, the zithera of the past with his merry men all, zim, 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 zim. Of the persons in this Erewigla saga, which, thorough readable to int from and, is from top to bottom all false tissues, anti-libelous and non-actionable, and this applies to its whole volume, of poor Osti Fosti, described as quite a musical genius in a small way, and the owner of an exceedingly nice ear, with tenorist voice to match. Not alone, but a very major poet of the poorly meritory order. He began to an Azonian, but worked his passage up as far as the we all hang together animandovite. No one end is known. If they whistled him before he had curtains up, they are whistling him still after his curtains doom's doom. A foo. His husband, poor old Ahara, Okarov, crestfallen by things and down at heels at the time they squeak, accepted the Zas knock Adri's shilling at the conclusion of the Crimean War, and having flown his wild geese, alone in crowds to wander on like Shuli Looney, enlisted in Tyrone's horse, the Irish Whites, and soldiered a bit with Woolsey under the assumed name of Blanco Fusilovna Buklovich, spurious, after which the corps and the marble halls of Pump Court Columbarium, the home of the old sea kings, looked upon each other and quethed their haven evermore, for it transpires that on the other side of the water it came about that on the field of Vasilev's cornix, inauspiciously with his unit he perished, saying, This paper leafless to all chap give raw chocolates for mother in law. Bouil. Poor old dear Paul Horan, to satisfy his literary as well as his criminal aspirations, at the suggestion thrown out by the doomster in loquacity lunacy, so says the Dublin intelligence, was thrown into a Ridley's for inmates in the northern counties. Under the name of Orani, he may have been the utility man of the troop, capable of sustaining long parts at short notice. He was. So did Sam, a dour, decent Dublancer, the unwashed, haunted always by his ham, the unwished, at a word from Israfel the summoner, passed away painlessly after life's ups and downs, one Halloween night, ebrous and in the state of nature, propelled from behind into the great beyond, by foot blows, cool and clouted upon his oyster and atlas, unbehanged and behooved and behicked and behulked of his last fish-and-blood bed scrappers, a Norwegian and his mate of the Shea-Wolving class. Though the last straw glimped his bearing, this staged thunkard is said, the pitfall and gagged him as prompt boxer, to have solemnly said, as had the brief thought but fell in till his head, like a bass dropped neck fast in till a bunkrate, cogged, Me dreams o' Lochlins has come through. Now let the centuple selves of my ego urge, 
as Nicholas de Cusack calls them, of all of whose I, in my here and after, of course, by recourse, demission me, by the coincidence of their contraries, re amalgamerge in that identity of undiscernibles where the Baxters and the Fleshmans may they cease to be divilent. And, but at this point, though the iron thrust of his cockspurt start might have prepared us, we are well nigh stink pothered by the mustard punch in the tail end. This out and in brown candlestock melt Nolans into peas. Hanbar. Disliken as he was to Drury O'Drama, her wife Langley, the prophet, and the decentest, dozenest short of a Prosker who ever stuck his spickle through his spoke, disappeared, in which to doing he has taken all the French leaves unveilable out of Callum Quiller's pravity. From the sour face of this earth, that austral plain he had transmarried himself to, so entirely spurlessly, the mother of the book with a dust whisk tabular-raising his obliteration done upon her in volucrum, as to tickle the speculative to all but opine, since the levy who might have been Langley may have really been a redivivus of Paganinism or a volunteer Vausden, that the hobo, who possessed a large amount of the humoresque, had transtulated his funster's latitat to its finsterest interimost. Vichy. Again, if Father San Brown tea and toaster to that quaintest test of yarn spinners, is Padre Don Bruno, Troy and Troster to the Queen of Ayer Spain, was the Reverend, the Sodality Director, that eupeptic vice flare, a barefaced Carmelite, to whose palpitating pulpit which of us but remembers the rare valent and honourable fratto Mr. Norlan Morenbrawn, sinning society sirens, see the Roman Catholic press passim, fortunately became so enthusiastically attached and was an objectionable ass who very occasionally cockaded a raffles ticket on his hat, which he wore all to one side like the hangle of his pan. If her elegance saw him, she'd have the canary, and was semi-privately convicted of malpractices with his hot wash table knife glossing over the cock in his pocket. That same snob of the Dunhill, fully several year shams riper encountered by the general on that red letter morning or may noon jove's day and were they fuit fuit when fishlin phil once throws his lip tis folly to be fortune flaunting and whoever's gone to mix hotel by the salt say water there's next to nothing we can do for he's never again to see it is nebulous an autodidact fact of the commonest that the shape of the average human cloudy fizz, whereas Sallow has long days faded, frequently altered its ego with the passing of the showers, not original. Whence it is a slopperish matter, given the wet and low visibility, since in this scatzerade of one's thousand one nightinesses that sword of certainty which would identify the body never falls to identifying the individual in scratch wig, square cuts, Stock lavalier, regattable oxeter, baggy pants and shufflers. He is often alluded to as Sly Patrick, the clad in the clane, with already an incipience, lust in the direction of area baldness. Hun is continually first meeting with odd sorts of others at all sorts of ages, who was asked by free board school shirkers in drenched coats over a wall, Will, Con, and Otto, to tell them over a gate, Vol, Pov, and Dev that fisherbed goat story of the hardly creditable adventures of the haberdasher, the two kerchies, and the three ankle chums in their bearskin goats. Girls and youngers, he has changed the locks in Thorkel's time. Ya, da, tra, gathery, pimp, shesses, shossafat, oka, de boko, nine. Those many warts, those slummy patches, half sinister wrinkles, what has come over the face on Hall Broader E? And Shrine of Mount Mu, save us, the large fungo park he has grown. Drink. Sports, a common thing. It was the Lord's own day for damp. To wait for a postponed regattas of eventualizing is not of battlecock, Shettledore, Juxtamare only, and the request for a fully armed explanation was put, in lieu of Pat, to the porty, a native of the Sister Isle, Meathman or Meccan, 
by his brogue, X-ray size, local colour and local odour, which are said to have been average clown Turkish. Though the capitalists voiced nasal liquids and the way he sneezed at Z's haul us back to the crogs and brins of the Silurian ordifices who, the lesser pilgrimage accomplished, had made pats and pigs older in self. The southeast bluffs of the stranger Stepshaw, a regifugium persecutorum, hence hindquarters, as he paused at even chime for some or so minutes, hit the pipe, Danny boy, time to one barman, I'll take ten to win, amid the devil's one doldrum, apple by her blossom window, and Charlotte at her toss panomancy, his sole admirers, his only tart in store. For a fragrant colobush, during his weekend pastime of executing with Annie Oakley deadliness, the consummatory pairs of provocatives, of which remained provokingly but two, the ones he fell for, Lily and Tutu, Corkum, empties, which had not very long before contained Reed's family. You rode that before, Soki, but all the bottles in Sodom history will not soften your blood of thirst. Stout. Having reprimed his repeater and re roamed his times piece, his revenances, with still a life or two to spare for the space of his occupancy of a world at a time, rose to his feet, and there, far from Tolkaheim, in a quiet English garden, commonplace, since known as Whittington Wild, his simple, intensive, curulent vocality, my dear brothers, my most dear brothers, as he... So is a supper as is a sipper, spake of the one and told of the compassionate, called up before the triad of precocious scare-makers, score-taking, spegulo ne helpas al mal belulo, mi credas que vi estas prava, viadote la visaggio, respondas fraulino, the now to us here mythical habiliments of our fafar and arthar of our doin. Television kills telephony in Brother's Broil. Our eyes demand their turn. Let them be seen. And wolfbone balefires blaze the trail most, if only that Mary nothing may burst her bibby bakshi. When they set fire, then she's got to glow, so we may stand some chances of warming to what every surkabacha, tum or hum, would like to know. The first Humphrey's latitudinous baver with puggery behind, calaboose belong, big boss belong, kang the tall, his four-in-hand bow, his elberum surtout, the refaced unmansionables of gingerine hue, the state slate umbrella, his gruff Wolseley Wellesley with the Findrin knots, and the gauntlet upon the hand which in an hour not for him solely evil had struck down the mighty might have been Destair, of whom his nation seemed almost already to be about to have need. Then... Stealing his thunder, but in the befitting legomena of the smaller country, probable words possibly said, a feel family gleaming, a bit duskish and flavoured with a smile, seeing as how his thoughts consisted chiefly of the cheerio, he aptly sketched for our soon-to-be second parents, Suk and see, why be? The touching scene. The solence of that stilling. Here one might have fin fell. Booms to rombombonant. It seems like a land escape from Wildu Picturescu, or some seam on some dim arras, dumb as mum's mutinous. This mimage of the seventy-seventh cousin of Christensen is audible to us across the wineless air, no eater nor mere eerie, nor less potent of suggestion than in the tales of the Tingmount. Prigged. And there, oft after, jaunty jogging on an Irish vis-a-vis, -vis, in steadily with shoulder to shoulder, Jehu will tell to Christiania, saint to sage, the Humphreyad of that fall and rise, while Daisy winks at her pinker sister among the tussocks, and the couple between the shafts mocks the couple on the car. And as your who may look like how on the other side of his big beltry, your tears and clothes, your nose and paradigm, may may re-rise in Aaron, follow we up his whip vindicative. Thurston's Lobibo, La Arboro, Lo Petrusu, the Augustan Peace Be To Them Oaks, the monolith rising stark from the moonlit pine barren in all fortitudinous, ejectious, rowdy, noisy tenuosity. 
The Angelus hour with ditches bent upon their farm used tensiles, the soft belling of the fallow deers, do remus genuane. Advertising their milky approach as midnight was striking the hours, letate, and how brightly the great tribune outed the shark skin smoke wallet imitation from his frock kippers, and by Joshua he tips on a topping swank cheroot. None of your swellish side, quite the reverse. And how manfully, he says, pluck to pluck and leckin' for Luke, and he was to just pluggy well suck that brown boy, oh my son, and spend a whole half hour in Havana. Sorer of the creeks, men, would not thor be old high goth sprog. Wherefore he met master, he mean to say he do sire bester of red publicans, at Eagle Cock Hostel on Lawrence O'Tooley Street, and how he wished his honour the bannocks of Gort and Moria and Breehead and Puddyrick, your loudship, and a starch box sitting in the pit of his St. Tomacks. A strange wish for you, my friend, and it would poleaxe your son son's grandson utterly, though your own old sweat and swear floriorants heaved it hoch many as the times when they were terrified by the hits. Chee, chee, cheers for up King Billy and Crow Crew Cramwell's downaboo. Hop boys and hat him. See, oil beam their lost, we found re-remembrances. Their hours to date link these airs to here. But wo, where are those yours of yester's days? Far-seeing Getirich and pool all woman Caractercus and his Anne Van Vogt. D-E-E-D. Ednard, ended, or sleeping soundlessly? Favor with your tongues, intendite. Any dog's life you list, you may still hear them at it like sixes and seventies, as ever sure as Halley's Comet, Ulama men, Sabrania women, starting boys and Duma girls, as they pass its bleak and bronze portal of your Casa Concordia. Hurumorni minifrican. Wur ladies hardy det los doron left ladies q. Mille ciento triginta do escudi. Tipoti kiri tipoti. Cia kai roti kai makar sahib. Despense me usted, senor. Enzon suka sabes. O thobron arm o hochrega. Thinking thou keli? Lig pa fly high papa lisi lang lang. Epi aloe kubatis. Tu vavner don pti boing going. Is mem de bumba ke meos de portocali. Oh, oh. Os pipos mios es demasiado gruarso por o piccolo pochino. Wifi? Honduro? Cochis? Shabbat? Mercy, and you? Gomach? Tak. And, Cod, says he with mugger's tears, would you care to know the prize of a liard? Magus, nick your nighty novel, mass traveners at the mic again, and that bag belly is the buck to goat it. Mageg, mageg, chap jappy fellow, I call our univalves to witness as sicker as moilify eggs is known by our good householders from your hundreds of mammoth to be which they commercially are in a high, high British quarters, conventional. My guest house and cow handled credits will immediately stand oh, oh, open as straight as that neighboring monument's fabrication before the hygienic girl. This was where the reverend Sabbath and bottle breaker with fur bulk forth stretched touched upon his tricolored bota, which he uplifted by its pickled hoopy, he gave Stetson one and a penny for it, while as oleaginosity of ancestral alosis scotulated down the both pendencies of his mozzohito lip tails, sen capetulo, a more modestuous conciliabulite, never curled a torn pocket mouth, cordially inviting the adolescents who he was wising up to do in like manner what all did, so as he was able to add, lobe before the great schoolmasters. I tell you no story. Smile. The house of Atriox is fallen in the dust. Ilia milium, merum omurnum ets. A verging on blight like the Monday banks of Feniana, but deeds bounds going arise again. Life, he himself said once, his biography in fact kills him very soon, if yet not after, is awake, live it or cricket, and on the bunk of our breadwinning lies the crops of our seed father, a phrase which the establisher of the world by law might pretinently write across the chest front of all man or woman born. The scene, refreshed, re-roused, 
was never to be forgotten. The hen and crusader ever intermutual mergent. For later in the century, one of that puny band of fact ferreters, then an ex civilly out of the custom huts, retired, hurt, under the 65's Act, in a dressy black modern style, and were were shiny Tan Burlingtons, Tam Homd and Dicky, Quopri Quos and Pejacked, rehearsed it, Pippa Pointing, with a dignified, copied bow to a name cousin of the late Archdeacon FX preserved Coppindra, a hot fellow in his night. May the mother of guard have mastic on him, in a poor woman of our first trans Hibernian, with one still sadder circumstance, which is a Dirk and Dirk heart skewerer, if ever, to bring bouncing brimmers from marbled eyes. Cycloptically, through the window discs and with eddying oars, the round eyes of the Rondreisers, back to back, buck to bucker on their airish chaunting car, beheld with intouristing anti-restedness the clad pursue the bear, the bear the green, the green the fraw, the fraw the clad again, as their convoy wheeled encirclingly abound the gigantic's life tree, our fire leave lover lucky blomster bohm, phoenix in our woodlessness, haughty, cacuminal, erubescent repetition, whose roots they be ashes with lustres of pine. For as often as the Archicadenus, pleasing aside his Irish field, and craving their auriculars to receptacle particulars before they got the bump at Castle Bar, Matt and Far, spoke of it by request, all hearing in this new reading of the part whereby, because of Dias and his machina, the new Garrickson's grimacing Grimaldism hypostasized by substituation the axiomatic or rotundity of that once grand old Elrington ball, the copycuss's description of that fellow commuter's play upon countenance, could simply imagine themselves in their bosom's inmost core as pro tem locums. Time sported across the yawning abyss, as once they were seasiders listening to the cockshy shooter's even song evocation of the doomed but always ventriloquent agitator, no not more plangor bound the billows or tuna wahalia reef, silk watered, a walrus might I add, against the dusk of scumring. Would that fain be St. Muezzin's calling holy places, and this fez, brimless as brow, a faithful toucher of the ground, did wish it were, blessed be the bones, the ghazi, power of his sword. His manslayer's gun wielder pretended towards that overgrown lead pencil, which was soon, monumentally at least, to rise as Molivdo Condelon to, to be, to be his mausoleum. O Dan stod till stain at Mice's eyes could show upon, while all over his exculpatory features as roll and rung, a wee dropleen of grief about to silenize his jujus, the ghost of resignation diffused a spectral appealingness, as a young man's drown or the fate of his waters may gloat, similar in origin and accurate ineffective, to a beam of sunshine upon a coffin plate. Not all the wise in the days of the beginning would our traveller, remote, unfriended from Van Diemen's land, some lazy scald or maundering pot, lift weary willy his slow-cut snobsick eyes to the semi-signs of his zootiac, and lengthily lingering along flask neck, crack at cup downtrodden brogue, turf sod wild broom, cabbage blad stockfish, longingly learn that there at the angel, where urged for him pochine and tea and praties and backy and wine with women worth warbling and informally quasi begin to press a smile to queeze it in. Nonsense! There was not very much windy nose blowing at the given moment through the hat of Mr. Melancholy Slow. But in the pragma, what formal cause made a smile of that, to think? Who was he to whom? O'Brien's not his name, nor the brown one his maid. Whose are the place words? Kiwasti, Kiska, Kitha, Kitnobodja? Tell the tem of the tumulum, give the gab of the groom. Be it cudgel player's country, or fish fellow's town, or leek liquor's land, or pan panongo poven greske. What regnans raised, the reins have leveled, but we hear the pointers and can gauge their compass, for the mellows yields the mode, and the mode the manners, pleasim and plansim and plowsim and plab, sin 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 sin. The forefather focus for a prize of two peaches with Ming, Ching, and Shani on the Lilo Lee. 
We'll sit down on the hope of the ghoulie ghost, for the tithe man troubleth, but his hantitat hies not here. They answer from their zones. Hear the four of them, hark to roar of them. I says our ma, and I'm proud of it. I says Clonakilty, God help us. I says Dean's Grange, and say nothing. I says Barna, and what about it? Hee-haw! Before he fell hill, he filled heaven. A stream, alp-lapping streamlet, coyly coiled them, cool of her curls. We were but termites then, we, we. Our ant heap we sensed as a hill of Allen, the barrow for em people, one Jotner's fjell, and it was a grum along among the pork troop that wonder struck us as a thunder yonder. Thus the unfacts, did we possess them, are too imprecisely few to warrant our certitude. The evidence givers by leg pole, too untrustworthy, irreparable, where his adjudgers are seemingly freak threes, but his Judy Candies plainly minus twos. Nevertheless, madams to show us waxes largely more lifelike, entrance one kudos, exits free, and our notional gallery is now completely complacent, an exegious monument airily perennial. Oblige with your blackthorns, gamps de grace. And there many have paused before that exposure of him by old Tom Quad, a flashback in which he sits sated, gowned about in clerical ease habit, watching bland souls slide dodgesomely into the nether moor, a globule of maudulness about to corrugitate his mild-dewed cheek and the tata of a tiny Victorian Alice, pressed by his limpalusa. Yet certes one is, ere the following winter had over the pages of nature's book, until K. Derbra Ataclea became Dablena Tertia, the shadow of the huge outland, maladic, multvolt, magnoporous, had bulked at the bar of a rota of tribunals in manor hall as in thieves' kitchen, mid pillow talk and chit house chat, on Marlborough Green as through Molesworth Fields, here sentenced, pro-tried with Jedburgh justice, there acquitted contestimony with benefit of clergy. His thing mod have undone him, and his mad thing has done him, man. His beneficiary is a legion in the part he created. They number up his years. Great Wheel Dunlop was the name was on him. Be hung, all we are his bicycles. As holiday in his house, so was he priest and king to that. All we came, envy saw, ivy conquered. Lo, lo, they have waved his green boughs o'er him, as they have torn him limb from land, for his mortification and expiration and domination and annihilation, with shrice and greeder de profound suspires. Steady Sullivans, mannequins, paws, long tongues, breeches fallen down, but Gronius spreads abroad. Ah, do stay, fidele ones, and feel the fluture's balls, for the total of your flouts is not fit to fan his fettle ho. Have a ring and sing wall, chin chin, chin chin, and of course all chime din, with the eatmost boviality, swiping rums and bones and sherries and ciders and negus and citronades too. The strongers. Oh ho, oh ho, Mr. Beg, you're about to be bagged in the bog again. Bog. But soft says Sife side, a hue for gases. But lo, lo, by the threning gods, human, erring, and condonable, what the statues of our quo, who is the mischief be our quang, a shoe assure there the unforgettable tree shade looms up behind the jostling judgments of those as all should owe malrecapturable days. Tap and pat and tap pat again. Fire first shot, messieurs the refuseliers, paying pyong for Saxon looting. Three tomics, soldiers free, cock a leek and cap a pee of the cold stream. Guards were walking in, pardonnez-le, je vous en prie, Montgomery Street. One voiced an opinion in which on either wide, pardonnez, nodding, all the finna camps concurred, je vous en prie, it was the first woman, they said, souped him that fatal Wellers Day, Lily Cunningham, by suggesting him they go in a field. Roth Mod Elfa, Ruth Red still stand, Roth racked Roth, confessed Private Pat Marcheson, Retro. Terse. Thus, contenters with Santoy's play. 
One of our coming Vauxhall on the boards, who is resting for the moment, she has been collared by a noted stagey elocutioner, a waste packet sitten, was interfued in a waist end beauty parlour. Looking, perhaps, even more beauty flushed in her cherry derry Padua soy's girdle and braces by the half moon and seven stars, russets from the blackamoor's head amongst the climbing boys at his eagle and child and over the corn and hay emptors at their black and all black, Mrs. F. dot a dot A. dot a dot said aside half in stage of whisper to her confidant glass while recuperating her cartwheel chapeau, a hat, and we now know what thimbles a backets on lalance at alls means, she hoped Sid Arthur would get a Christmas port route of orange and lemon-sized orchids with hollegs and ether from the theatre of the Innocent, as the world had been uncaned. Then, while it is Odra's comparisoning to the sprang flowers of his birthday, which was a veritable garden party for the rain worms and the charlatinas and all branches of climatitis, it has been such a wonderful night, entirely, added she, with many regards to Maha's Pranya Pansy. Tot. Prehistoric obiter to his dictaphone and anticologist. His propenomen is a properismenon. A dustman, knock named Seven Churches, in the employ of Messrs. Ashburn, Sol Peter, and Ashreborn, prayer makers, Glintaluk, was asked by the sisterhood the vexed question during his midday collation of lever and buckram alternatively with stank and kitteny fie in a hash house, and thank heaven responsed impulsively, we have just been propagandering his nullity suit and what they took out of his ear among my own crush. All our fellows at O'Day's, sages with Arata Calaman, he is a cemented brick bucket hall. A more nor usually sober car driver, who was jauntingly hosing his runabout Ginger Jane, took a strong view. Lorry hosed her as he talked, and this is what he told rewrite men. Ayr Waker is just a plain pink joint reformee in private life, but folks all have it by Brehman's laws. He has parliamentary honours. Ice Caffier said, Luigi's, you know that man, brilliant savourin. Mon foi, you wish to have some omelette? Yes, lady. Good, mine labour. Your hig, he must break himself. See, si, I crack so, he sit in the poêle, umbidimped. A perspirer over sixty, who was keeping up his tennises, panted. He knew, ha, oh, ha, toi, to collect information, but a diff pair of flannels climb wall and trespassing on doorbell. After full-blown Braddon, hear this fresque trotterella. A railway's barmaid's view, they call her spiltier's rue, was thus expressed. Two sympathisers of the dull line, Death Avenue, anent those objects of her pity-prompted ministrants to wet man and his siphon. Ahim, it is ever too late to whistle when Phyllis floods her stable. It would be scarlet shame to jail ahim in lock-up, as was proposed to him by the Sedum's creature. What matter what merry tricks went off with his revolver, her in connections with him being an orphan and enjoining such wicked elf, him. Well done, drum collar kill. Kitty Tyrrell is proud of you, was the reply of a BOT official. Oh, blame not the board. While the daughter's bank letter murmured in Eunice Woon, Gull for Gillis jury legs. Brian Linsky, the cub cursor, was questioned at his shouting box, ball on a bracket, and gave a snappy comeback when saying, Paw! Once more I'll hell bowl. I am for caveman chase and Sahara sex burk you. Them two bitches ought to be leashed, Canem. Up hog and whore hunt. Paw. A would-be martyr, who is attending on Sanitacitas, where he is being taught to wear bracelets, when grilled on the point, revealed the undoubted fact that the consequence would be that so long as Sankyamundi played his mango tricks under the mister tree, with shady apsaras sheltering and his leaves licensed and his shadowers torrified by the potent bolts of indradiction, there would be fights all over Cookshaven. Tosh! Missioner Ida Woomwell, the seventeen-year-old revivalist, said concerning the coincident of interfizzing with grenadines and other respected and disgusted persons using the park, that perpendicular person is a brute, but a magnificent brute. Caligula, Mr. Daniel McGrath, 
bookmaker, well known to Australian producers of the Sydney Parade Balloting, was, as usual, antipodal with his striving to die, happening to mellow where splash cobbler. We have meet two hourly, sang out El Caplan Bicout, with the famous Padre's Turidor's Cape Cast, meet two hourly matadir. Dan Michael John, presenter of SS Smack and Ollie's, was probably verbal with his upsy duxit, mutatus mutandus. Doran's Lord, Sniffpox, and Morgan's Lady, flatter fun, took sides and crossed and bowed to each other's views and recrossed themselves. The dirty dubs up in their flies went to free, echoed the Danely drabs down in their sanities, una mona. Sylvia Silence, the girl detective, Mimi Nerva, but by now one hears turtlings all over Doveland, when supplied with information as to the several facets of the case in her cosy dozy bachelor's flat, quite overlooking John O'Dream's muse, leaned back in her really truly easy chair to query restfully through her vowel-threaded syllables. Have you ever thought, reporter, that sheer greatness was his tragedy? Nevertheless, according to my considered attitudes, per this act he should pay the full penalty, pending pursuance, as per subsec 32, section 11 of the CLA Act 1885, anything in this act to the contrary notwithstanding. Jarley Jilk began to silk, for he couldn't get home to Jelsey, but ended with, he's got the sack that helped him molt in stench of his gladsome rags. Maher, a naval rating, seated on one of the granite cromlech sets of our new fish shambles for the usual aerating after the ever-popular act, with whom were Cuesta and Puella, Picant and Quite. This had a cold in her brain, while that felt a sink in her stomach, which what what's wet, was encouraged although near vanished himself by one of his co-affianced, to get your breath, Walt, and gob it, and when they're chidden by her fastra sastra, to saddle up your pants, Neville, thus Cor replied to her other's thanks-kissing, I lay my two finger-buttons, fiancé Maher, he speaks. He was to blame about your two velvet ties up Horniman's Hill, as Hook and I blame him or any other pisk man. But I also think, Pueli Wally, by the siege of his trousers, there was someone else behind it. You bet your bottom blarneys about their three drummers down Kayser's Lane. Trite. Be these mere March and Taylor's fablings of a race referend with Odd Man Rex? Is now all seen, heard, then forgotten? Can it was, one is fain in this leaden age of letters now to wit, that so diversified outrages they have still to come, were planned and partly carried out against so staunch a covenant, or if it be true, then any of those recorded ever took place for many, we trow, be yes to and denied of, are given to us by some who use the truth but sparingly, and we on this side ought to sorrow for their pricking pens on that account. The seventh city, Uro Vivla, his citadier of refuge, whither would we believe the laymen and their cunts, beyond the outraved gales of Atriatic, changing clues with a bagger master, the Hegerite had fled, silentious human under night's alta sonority, ship alone, a raven of the wave, be mercy Mara, a he whence Rahulas, from the Ostmen's dirt beyond the old Vic, to forget in expiating manslaughter and rebirthing in remariment out of dead sickness to divine providence, if you are looking for the builder, deep your ear on the movie tone, to league his lot palm and pat with a papishy. For mine quin, I thee gift take, and bind my hosen band, I thee halter. The ways to be land, a lotus land, a luxurious land, emerald Lilium, the peasant pastured, in which, by the fourth commandment, with promise, his days apostolic were to be long, by the abundant mercy of him which thundereth from on high, murmured, would rise against him with all which in them were franchisables and inhabitants, Astia as Agora, Helots, Philips, do him hurt poor Jink, ghostly following bodily, as were he made a curse for them, the corruptible lay quick, all saints of incorruption of an holy nation, the common or Aaron garden cast away, in red resurrection to condemn, so they might convince him, first Pharaoh, Humphrey as Cheops ex Arcas, of their proper sins. 
business bred to speak with a stiff upper lip to all men, and most occasions the man we wot of took little short of fighting chances, but for all that he or his or his care were subjected to the horrors of the premier terror of Errorland. Terror. We seem to us, the real us, to be reading our amenti in the sixth sealed chapter of the going forth by Black. It was after the show at Weddensbury that one tall man, humping a suspicious parcel, when returning late amid a dense particular on his home way from the second house of the Boer and Burgess Christie Menestrels by the old spot Roy's Corner, had a Barkus revolver placed to his face with the words, You're shot, Major, by an unknowable assailant, masked, against whom he had been jealous over not a Crabtree or Pomona Evelyn. More than that, when the waylayer, not a local lizard diocesan, or even of the Glendalough Sea, but hailing for the prow of Little Britain, mentioning in a by-the-way that he, the crosshopper, had, in addition to Reed's cutlass centiblade, a loaded Hobson's, which left only twin alternatives, as vice versa. Either he would surely shoot her, the aunt, by pistol, she could be okay sure of that, or failing of such, bash in Patch's blank face beyond recognition, pointedly asked with galish gall what her blizzard's business Thornton had with that cane's fender, only to be answered by the aggravated assaulted, that 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 was the snaps for him midweeks to sultry well go and find out if he was showery well able. But how transparingly non-true, gentle writer. His feet one is not a tall man, not a tall man. No such parson, no such fender, no such lumber, no such race. Was it supposedly in connection with a girl's Miramie Huey or Calora's archer under Flaggy Bridge? For Anne there is but one live, and her new bridge is her old. Or to explode his twelve chamber and force a shrievelty entrance that the heavy-built able body in a butcher blue blouse from one life one suit, a menswear store, with the most decisive bottle of single in his possession, seized after dark by the town guard at Have You Caught Emerald's Temperance Gateway was there in a gate's way. Fifthly, how parasoliloquizingly true toned on his first time of hearing the wretch's statement that, muttering Irish, he had, 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 or gloriously a lot, too much hangest or hush you fine to drink, in the house of blazes, the parrot in hell, the orange tree, the glipped, the sun, the holy lamb, and laps not leashed in Ramadown ship hotel, since the morning moment he could extinguish a white thread from a black, till the engine of the laws declosed unto Murray, and was only falling fill the fluter up against the gate stone pier, which, with the cow's bonnet atop of it, he false took for a cattle pillar, with purest, peaceablest intention. Yet, how lamely hobbles the hoy of his then pseudo jocax explanation, how, according to his own story, he was a process server, and was merely trying to open Zosimus a bottle of staub by martially hammering his magnum bonum, the curt of the club, the sore of the savage, against the bludgy gate for the boots about the swan, Morris Bean, who hastily into his shoes with nothing as hall bar a tin tack and came down with hump, stemp, and jump it to the tilt-yard from the waists asleep in his obi ony overclothes or choker, attracted by the Norse of guns, playing the landiest cartridger on the Ragler Rock to Doolin, said what prized safe in bed as he dreamed that he'd wealths in Mormon halls, when woken by a fourth loud snore out of his land of Biela, while Hickstry's maws was grazing in the moonlight, by hearing hammering on the pandywank scale emanating from the blind pig, and anything like it, una, una, in the whole history of the mulling can in, he never. This battering babel all over the door and side posts, he always said, was not in the very remotest like the belzy babble of a bottle of booze, which would not rouse him out of slumber deep, but reminded him loads more of the martial aussy marses of foreign music and instruments, or the overthrower to the third last days of Pompery, if anything. And that after this most nooningless nocturne, the young rain came down desperate, 
and the old lipopotamus started ploring all over the plains as mud as she could be, ruinating all the butcher's shirts and the backer's wishing togs, so that be the chandelier of the Rajani Jaily, they were all night washing the Walters off, the weltering Walters off. White. Just one moment. A pinch in time of the ideal, musketeers. Alphas, Burkas, and Caramus leave Australia for the astrologeries, and for the love of the Sansas and the honour of Kevin's Pike, Poddywhack back to Pamintool, and roll away the real world, the real world, the real world, and call all your smoke blushes snow white and rose red, if you will have the real cream. Now for a strawberry frolic. Filon, filouche, cherchant la flamme, fam, 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 fam. Come on, ordinary man, with that large, big, non head, and that blank, overbecked fiscal expression, Machinsky, Skapolopoulos, Dejinascu, or other, your matchless mutton legs getting muscle down from being too pulled. No, a beery weighed stone thousand one when Hazel was a hen, now her fat's falling fast. Therefore, chat bags, why not yours? There are twenty-nine sweet reasons why blossom time's the best. Elders fall for green almonds when they're raised on bruised stone root ginger, though it winters on their heads as if octumned round their waistbands. If you'd had pains in your hairs, you wouldn't look so orgy bald. You'd have collie macares on your lump of lead. Now listen, Mr. Lear, and stow that sweaty, funny Adam simper. Take an old geezer who calls on his skirt. Note his sleek hair, so elegant. Tableau vivant. He vows her to be his own honey lamb, swears they will be papa pals by Sam, and share good times way down west in a guaranteed happy love nest when May moon she shines and they twit twinkle all the night, combing the comet's tail upright and shooting pop guns at the stars. Cream puffs all to dime, every nice Missy Mackenzie. For dear old Grumpapa, he's gone on the razzledar through gazing and crazing and blazing at the stars. Compris? She wants her wardrobe to hear from above by return with cash, so as she can buy her Peter Robinson trousseau and cut a dash with Artie, Bert, or possibly Charlie Chance, who knows? So tolol, Mr. Hunker, you're too dada for me to dance, so off she goes. And that's how half the gals in town has got their bottom drawers, while Grumpapa is trying to hitch his braces onto his trousers. But old Grummy's not so clean dippy between sweet you and yum. Not on your life, boy, not in those trousers, not by a large jugful. For some place on the sly, where furphy he isn't by, old Grum has his gal number two, brave bow our Grum. And he would like to canoodle her too some part of the time, for he is downright fond of his number one, but oh, he's fair mashed on Peach's number two. So that if he could only canoodle the two, chevy, chevu, all three would feel genuinely happy. It's as simple as ABC. The two mixers, we mean, with their cherry bomb chappy, for he is simply shamming dippy. If they all were afloat in a dream lifeboat, hugging two by two in his zoodia do, a toff toff for thee, missy, missy for me, and how came you in so for faber in his tippy, up and down dippy, tip top tippy canoodled can you? Thinny. Ack, ack, ack. With which, clap, trap, and sodden, and three to a loaf are mutual friends, the fender and the bottle at the gate, seem to be implicitly in the same bateau, so to zing it. Bearing also several of the earmarks of design, for there is in fact no use in putting a tooth in a snipery of that sort, and the amount of all those sort of things which has been going on once a day in and twice a day out, every other nacht is tack, among all kinds of promiscuous individuals at all ages in private homes and rebus publicis, and all over all and elsewhere, throughout secular sequence, the country over and over abroad has been particularly stupendous. To be continued. Federals, Uniteds, Transports, Unions for Exaltations of Triumphant Ecstasies. But, resuming inquiries, will it ever be next morning the Postal Unionists, officially called Carrier's Letters Scotch Limited, Strange Fate, Fierce and Giddy X, his height, D.E., the losel that hucks around Missive Maid's gummy backs, to hand in a huge chain envelope 
written in seven diverse stages of ink, from blanche essence to lavendayette, every pot hook and pan crook bespaking the wisher wife, superscribed and subpenciled by yours a laughable party with after right SAG to Hyde and Cheek, Edenbury, Dublin, WC? Will whatever will be written in lapish language with inbursts of Magyar always seem imposed, black looking white and white guarding black, in that sire mixed to a talk used twist stern swift and jolly Roger? Will it bright upon us, nightle, and we plunging to our plight? Well, it might now, Merkel, so it light, always and ever, till Cox's wife, twice Mrs. Hearn, pokes her beak into the matter with O and K after her to see what was smutter after. Will this Kiribis pouch, filled with litterish fragments, lurk dormant in the paunch of that half brother of a herm, a pillar box? The coffin, a triumph of the illusionist's art, at first blench naturally taken for a hand harp, it is hand warped to distinguish Jubabe from Jabul or either from Tubot when all three have just been in bed, had been removed from the hardware premises of Ötzmann and Nephew, a noted house of the gone most west, which, in the natural course of all things, continues to supply funeral requisites of every needed description. Why needed, though? Indeed needed. Wouldn't you feel like rat and fowl if you hadn't the Oscar? Because the flash brides or bride in their lily boleros won games with at the Nivy Nubies finery ball and your upright grooms that always come right up with you, and by jingo when they do, what else in this mortal world now ours, when meet their night, mid their knacked, me their naked, made their naught the hour strikes, would bring them right came back in the flesh, thumbs down to their horses and their hashes. To proceed, we might leave that nitriance of oxygiants to take its free of the air and just analectralize that very chimerical combination, the gas bag where the water works, and try to pour some more heiter scene up the almost fair. In the bottled Helios case, continuing, Long Lally Tubkids, the special, sporting a fine breast of medals and a conscientious scripture reader to boot in the brick and tin church round the coroner, swore like a Norwegian tailor on the stand before the proper functionary that he was up against a right queer schnort of a man in the butcher of the blues, who, he continued, on last evening, after delivering some carcasses, mat and chips and meat shoots on behalf of Messrs Otto Sands and Eastman, Limericked, Vittlers, went and with his unmitigated astonishment, he kicked at the Donandorus against all the runes, and when challenged about the pretended hick, it was kick up and down with him, on his solemn by the impudent imputed said simply, I a pop pie out, Phillips, Captain. You did, as I so stressed before. You are deep near in error, sir, Madam Tompkins, let me then tell you, replied with a gentlewomanly salam, McPartland, the Meatman's family, and the oldest in the world except Nick, name. And Phelps was flayful with his peeler, but his fizz fell. Now to the obverse. From velveteens to dimities is barely a five-finger span, and hence these camelback excesses are thought to have been instigated by one or either of the causing causes of all those rushy hollow heroines in their skirt sleeves, bishi magretta, bishi the pos. Oh, oh, because it is a horrible thing to have to say, to say today, but one Delilah, Lupita Lorette, shortly after, in a fit of the unexpectednesses, drank carbolic with all her dear placid life before her and paled off, while the other soil dove that's her sister in love, Luperka Latouche, finding one day while dodging chores that she stripped teasily for binocular man and that her jams were jimp joyed to see each other, the naughty girl soon found her fruitful hat too small for her, and rapidly taking time, look, she rapidly took to necking, partying, and selling her spare favours in the haymow, or in lumber closets, or in the green on ad hook. There are certain intimacies in all ladies' lavastories we just lease to imagination, or in the sweet churchyard close itself for a bit of soft coal, or an array of thin trunks, serving whom, in fine, that same hot coney a la Zingara, which our own little grania of the chilly red cheeks dished up to the great sire of Oscar, that son of a cool, Hoori of the coast of Emerald, Ara of the lascessive Pogue, 
Aslim, all Muslim, resigned to her surrender, did not she, come Leinster's even, true daughter of a Dearmont? Her pitch was forty steps, and his perch, old Cromwell's quarters, with so Valkyrie a license as sent many a poor pucker packing to perdition, again and again, aye and again, Svidare him, tease Fido, eh, tease Fido, eh, eh, tease Fido, two stopples, stopples, stop, dog of a dog of a jower ye, and jealous me. And did not he, like Arco Forte, far, far off Bisavolo, misbrand her behaviours with iridescent hue cry of downright mean false soplapsic dope? Toffles dreck, a reign of the she, a she bean queen, a queen of pranks, a kingly man of royal mien, regally robed, exalted be his glory, so gave, so take. Now, not, not now, he would just a min, suffering trumpet. He thought he want, what? Here, oh here, living of the land, hungry dead ear a hark. He, he, eyes. Ravenous on her lippling lills, he hear her boy of day gone by. He hears, zay, 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 but by the beer of his prophet, he cannot answer. Up her potty till rise and shine, nor needs none shaft, nay steely, from Phoenicia or little Asia to obelize on the spout. Neither pobble clock, neither folk stone, nor sunkenness in Thor's wood, to be ray how our press gangs score off the rood. The mouth that tells not will ever attract the unthinking tongue, and so long as the obscene draws theirs which hear not, so long till all earth's domination shall the blind lead the deaf. Tatch or tawny yeekling. The column of lumps lends the patron of the leaves behind us. If violence to life, limb, and chattels, often as not, has been the expression, direct, or through an agent male of woman he'd offended, ah, uh, ah, uh, has not levy of black mail from the times the fairies were in it, and fain for wild earth blossoms, followed an impressive private reputation for whispered sins? Now, by memory inspired, turn wheel again to the whole of the wall. Where giant Bliant fronts pain do a more, there was once upon a wall, and a hoog hoog wall a was, and such a wall hole did exist. Er or or air in arm, or you dares hair, or you dig in mosses, or your hoard of orts and oriorts, to garble a garden of Odin, and the last holidays when all the Adams ended with Arbes. Are men? The down is theirs, and still to see for Manang, if he strikes a louse of rich, and we'll come to those bare gaze shoe shines if you just should have a second, and let Ogs be good old gaggles, and Easter Esther play Yester Aster in the drama of sore stossed areas diseased. had bought and enlarged that shack on the fair rental of one yearling sheep, prime, value of sixpence, and one small yearling goat, cadet, value of eightpence, to grow old and happy, hog it and kid him, for the remnants of his years. And when everything was got up for the purpose, he put an apple gate on the place, by no means as some pretext, a bedstead in lieu thereof to keep out donkeys, the pig dirt hanging from the jags to this hour makes that clear, and just then about the iron gape by old custom left open to prevent the cats from getting at the gout was triple pack locked on him on purpose by his faithful porters to keep him inside probably and possibly an anter he felt like sticking out his chest too far and tempting gracious providence by a stroll on the peaplade's egg day unused as he was yet to being freely clodded. Oh, by the by, let's we brag of praties. It ought to be always remembered in connection with what has gone before that there was a north rumour, her betrefender, out for his simmer hole digs, digging in number 32 at the rum and puncheon, branch of Dirty Dick's free house in Laxlip, where the sockeye salmons were stopping at the time, orange fasting. Prior to that, a commercial, gorbo tipaco, he was reeking like central oil rubber from Osterich. The USE paying, gall save the mark, eleven shillings in the week, gosh, these holy romads, of conscience money in the first deal of July, while he was, 
swishing bees' nest with Blesher and swabbing broken earish with Brock and Dooch, making his reporterage under Fall Adams for the Franco-Furto siding, a fastland periodical, and Er constated that one had on him the Lynn O'Brien, a meltoned lambswaller, disturbed, and wider he might the same Zurich's chicken other he would, with tozened and overtozened tonawaters, one monkey's damages become. Now you must know, Frank's man, to make a heart of glass, that the game of gaze and bandstand butchery was merely a patio strap tissue of threats and abuses such as Roebuck's roar at Pinnacle's peak and after this sort. Humphrey's unsolicited visitor, Davy or Titus, on a Burglies clan march from the Middle West, a highly excellent crude man about road who knew his bullfoost mountains like a starling beard, after doing a long dance untitled to Cloudy Green, deposed his box stump on the weight you may want me, after having blew some Quakers, for you, oats, in through the house king's keyhole to attract attention, bleated through the gale outside, which the terror of his clothes was hog-collaring, first be the hirsuter, that he would break his bullshy wigger's head for him, next be the heel-tapper, that he would break the gauge over his lanky duckling head, the same way he would crack a nut with a monkey wrench, and last of all be the stir about her that he would give him, his, or the umperums, or any bloody else's thicker than water to drink, and his bloody stepbrothers into the bucket. He demanded more wood alcohol to pitch in with, alleging that his grandfather's was all taxes, and that it was only after ten o'connell, and that this his his bar was a public oven for the sake of Erskerskuski, and then, not easily discouraged, opened the wrath floods of his artillery and went on at a wicked rate, weathering against him in mooks metaphors from 11.30 to 2 in the afternoon without even a luncheonette interval for house, son of Claude, to come out, your Jew beggar, to be executed. Amen. Erica, that pattern mind, that paradigmatic ear, recepto retentive as his of Dionysius, long-suffering, although whitening under restraint in the sitted-out corner of his conservatory behind famine-built walls, his thermos flask and rapidian flabel by his side, and a walrus whisker-bristle for a tusk-pick, compiled, while he mourned the flight of his wild guineas, a long list, now feared in part lost, to be kept on file of all abusive names he was called, we have been compelled for the rejoicement of fine ladies and the humours of Milltown, etc., by Josephine Brewster in the collision known as Contrastations with Inkerman, and so on, and so on, what? Laces in Lou Water Flea, Celestial's One Clean Turve. First Nighter, Informer, Old Fruit Yellow Wigger, Wheat Ears, Goldie Gate, Bogside Beauty, Yes, We've Had His Bananas, York's Porker, Funny Face. At Baggetty's Bend he bumped, grease with the butter, open door auspices, cane enabler, Ireland's eighth wonderful wonder, beat my price, God's oil man, Moonface the murderer, hoary, hairy hoax, midnight sunburst, remove that Bible, hebdomadary publication, Tom of the Lane the tyrannous, blau clay, tight before tea time, read your panter joke, acoustic disturbance, thinks he's goblast the good duke of our guile, W.D.'s Grace, gibbering Bayamouth of Dublin. His father was a monsucker, and she had him in a growler. Burnham and Bailey, artist, unworthy of the homely Protestant religion. Terry Cotter, you're welcome to water food, signed the Riven Men. Lobster pot lardling, all for Arthur of this town, hooshed the cat from the bacon. Leather togs Donald, the ace and deuce of pauthering. O'Reilly's delights to kiss the man behind the bottle. Magog agog. Swad Puddlefoot, Gouty Gibbeline, Loose Luther, Hatches Cock's Eggs, Muddle the Plan, Lock Before Wedlock, I Divorce Thee Husband, Tanner and a Make, Go to Helena or Come to Connie's, Pyabald, Puff Puff His Bride, Purged Out of Books, Is None of Me Causing, Barbarian, Peculiar Person, Grunt Owls Factotum, Twelve Months Aristocrat, Lycanthrope, Flunky Beetle Vamps the Tune, Letting On His Loney, Thunder and Turf Married into Clandorf, Left boot sent on approval, cumberer of Lord's holy ground, Stodge Arshman, Aunt Uke, Tommy Furlong's pet plagues, Archduke on Cabinger, last past the post, Canaley won't tell thee of Nancy's gown, scuttle to cover, salary grab, Andy McNoon in Annie's room, all out, twitch bratch balls, 
Bombard Street, Bester, sublime porter, a ban for the king of the Burgons, and a bomb for his sir of all the Rutledges. Ophelim's cut price, and at number 111, what he done to Castle Costello. Sleeps with feathers and ropes. It is known who sold Horace the Rattler, enclosed find the sons of Fingal. Swayed in his falling, once a wife and forty of them, let him do the fair, a P.G. Kwani Chimok. Plop goes his wassel, ruin of the small trader. He, blank, blank, milking honey beaver broker. He was a vintner. Sour rapes, Armenian atrocity, sick fish belly up, Edomite. Blank, man devoid of the commoner characteristics of an Irish nature. Bad Humborg, crab, crab, cuckoo handler, dirt, mitching daddy, born burst feet foremost, Woolworth's worst, Asiatic philosophist. Guilty pig's bastard, fast in the barrel, booze in the bed, Mr. Fat Mate, in custody of the polis, Boar's allocutionist, deposed. But anarchistically respectful of the liberties of the non-invasive individual did not respond a solitary wedge word beyond such sedentarity, though it was as easy as kiss anywhere for the passive resistant in the booth he was in to reach for the hello gripes and ring up Kimmage Outer, 1767, because, as the fundamentalist explained, when at last shocked into speech, touching his wounded feelings in the future, the Dominican mission for the Socialist Party was on at the time, and he thought the Romish devotion known as the Holy Rosary might reform him gone. That more than considerably unpleasant bullocky before he rang off, drunkishly pegged a few glass stones, all of a size, by way of final mocks for his grapes at the wicket in support of his words that he was not guilty. But after he had so slung a volleyed, reconnoitring through his semi-subconscious the seriousness of what he might have done had he really polished off his terrible intentions, finally caused him to change the bawling and leave down the whole groomus of brook pebbles pang pong, and, having sobered up a bit, faces his ground old diablin lion dub, the flay, the phlegm, the floody fleshener, purse, purse, pursy face, I'll splish the splume of them all. This back blocks boor brusquely put out his language, and quite quit the paleologic scene, telling how, by his self-denying ordinance, he had left Highland on the dissenting table after exhorting Erica or, in slightly modified phraseology, Mrs. or Mrs. Erica Sayer, his feminizable name of multitude, to coke, coke, come outside to Mockaloo out of that for the honor of Crumlin, with his broody old flish gods dogs cursed to them, so as he could Brian slog and burst him all dizzy, you go bail, like Pop's fracture did with Kettle Flat Nose, and nobody at all with Holy Famous, and build rocks over him. Or if he didn't, for two and thirty straws, be Cacao Campbell, he didn't know what he wouldn't do for him, nor nobody else no more nor him. After which battle martel, a brisha, a miller, a stroker, a bula, saw the rage of Marlbrook, playing on the least change of his Manchester's voice, the first heroic couplet from the Fugal Tropical, Opus Elf, Forty Toe. My schemes into obeyance for this time has had to fall. They bit good bite to their thumb. And his bandolier, his soldier, drip drop crap on pool or polger, wishing the law for Philadelphian in the morning, proceeded with a hubble forth slouch in his slips backwards, et cur heli, in the directions of the Duffin Dem institutions about ten or eleven hundred years lurch away in the moonshiny gorge of Pat Self on the back. Adio. And thus, with this rochely exeter of Bully Acre, came to close that last stage in the siegings round our archie citadel, which we would like to recall, if old Nestor Alexis would wink the worth for us, as Barladuk and Dog and Doris and Bang and Optum. Yet he made leave to many a door beside of Oxman's Wold, for so witness his chambered cairns, a cloudlet litter silent, that are at Brows, up hill and down Coombe, and on Eolathostraton at Hoth or at Kulak, or even at Ennis Kerry, a theory none too rectiline of the evaluation of human society, and a testament of the rocks from all the dead unto some the living. Oliver's lambs, we do call them, scatterlings of a stone, and they shall be gathered unto him, their herd and paladin, as nubilets to cumul, in that day when, same the lightning lance of Azava Arthur honoured, some fin, some fin avant, he scar wake from earth sleep, 
fort-crested Elma in his val of briars of green man's riso, lost leaders live, the heroes return. And o'er Dun and Dale, the Wolver Ulver Lord protect us, his mighty horn scar roll, or land roll. For in those days his Deus shall ask of our Prohom, and call to him, Al Prohom. And he make answer, add some, nor wink, nor wonk, anima diabolum mene credidisti mortuum. Silence was in thy Faustive halls, O Tuya, when thy green woods went dry. But there will be sounds of many mirth on the night's ear ringing when our pantriarch of Comstown to Nobble gets the pullover on his boots. Liverpool? Sot a bit of it. His brains cooled parrich, his pelt nassy, his heart's a-drone, his blood streams a-crawl, his puff but a-piff, his extremities extremely so, fangless, palm-broke, chill-blamond, and bald owl. Hump is in his doge. Words weigh no no more to him than rain drips to rest on him. Which we all like, rain. When we sleep, drops. But wait until our sleeping, rain, stops. As the lion in our tear garden remembers the nenuphars of his Nile, shall Arius forget Arion or Boaz the bergams of the Mamarazals from Marmonir? It may be, tots where senseful a nagin and twenty have sigil posted what in our breathing bust the besieged bedreamt him still and solely of those lilyliths undeveiled, which had undone him, gone for age, and knew not the watchful treachers at his wake, and theirs to stay. Fui, fui, chamber missis, see pits opi larsen lads, zin, 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 zin. It may be, we most on hasten cells to declare it, that he reglimmed, pre-saw, the fields of heat and yields of wheat, where corn gold is it, shamed and shone. It may be we happen to upseek a bitty door our good township's currents, want we newt, that with his deep-seeing insight, had not wishing oft to been but good time wasted, within his patriarchal shamana, broad stain above city, twill be, twill be, he conscious of enemies, a king billy white horsed in a fin glass mill, prayed as he sat on anxious seat, Conchy neat gift may tow about a pierce aft eyeballs. During that three and a hell of hours agony of silence, ex profundis malorum, and bred with unfeigned charity that his word wounder, an angles to the teeth, who no man gnash of gira hash, would go any old where in the weeping world on his mottled belly, the rab the creepons need, for milk, music, or married missuses, might mercy to providential benevolences, who hates prudence's astuteness, unfold into the first of a distinguished dynasty of his posteriors, black-faced Connemara's not of the fold, but elder children of his household, his most besetting of ideas, Pacey his twelve predominant passions, being the formation as in more favoured climes, where the meadow of honey is guest-friendly and the mountain of joy receives, of a truly criminal stratum, hams, crib-cracking yeggs, thereby at last eliminating from all classes and masses with directly derivative decasualization, cigarius sic vindicat urbes terrorum sicca, and so to mark a bang tarshi arter, the obedience of the citizens help the elf of the old. Now, God, let us leave theories there and return to here's here. Now here, tis God again. The teak coffin, pew glass panel fitted, feats to the east, was to turn in later, and pitly patly near the porpoise, materially effecting the cause. And this lever is the thing how. Any number of conservative public bodies, through a number of select and other committees having power to add to their number, before voting themselves and himself, town, port and garrison, by a fit and proper resolution, following a court's order of the ground wet, once for all out of plotty existence, as a force cut, so you mad skippy might do cut and runner on a new pack of clerds, made him, while his body still persisted, their present of a pro-tem grave in Moyelta of the best Loch Ney pattern, then as much in demand among misanesans as the Isle of Man today among limniphobes. Wacht even. It was in a fairly fishy kettle carry 
after the Fianna's foreman had taken his handful, enriched with ancient woods and dear duchy deeplins, mid which were an old knoll and a trout beck, veiny vein of her osiery, and a chatty sally with any wilt or walt who would ongle her as Isaac did to the tickle of his rod and watch her waters of, her sillying waters of, and there now brown Peter a ripple may their quilt gild lightly over his somnolent form. Who for you lies his last by the wrath of bog, like the erst cursed hun in the bed of his true blue Donahue? Best. This was to have been underground heaven or mole's paradise, which was probably also an inversion of a philophoros, intended to foster wheat crops and to ginger up tourist trade, its architect, Monseigneur Per Lachasse, having been obsecated lest he should petrifix such an ever, while the contractors, Messrs. T. A. Burkett and L. O. Tools, were made invulnerably venerable, First in the West, our Mr. Builder Castle villainous, openly damned and blasted by means of a hydro mine system, so on and belting, exploded from a reinvented TNT bombing post up a hoy of eleven and thirty wing rests, Sassita, to sternboard out of his aerial torpedo, Auton Dynamon, contacted with the expectant minefield by tins of improved ammonia lashed to her shield plated gunwale and fused into trip up cables slipping through tholes and playing down from the conning tower into the ground battery fuse boxes, all differing as clocks from keys, since nobody appeared to have the same time of beard, some saying by their urlog it was six tricks to nine, more holding with the Ryanvocht, it was Dane to fife. He afterwards, whenever his blather began to fail off him, and his rough bark was wholly husky, and stoop by stoop he neared it, woodman spare, carefully lined the ferro-concrete result with rot-proof bricks and mortar, fast to fast, and retired beneath the heptarchy of his towerettes, the beecham byward bull and lion, the white, the wardrobe, and bloodied. So encouraging, in Stephen Alsace hats believed, additional useful counsels public, with hoofed off dealings, which were well holden of lady cans to hoor out such as the Breeders' Union, the Guild of Merchants of the Staple, at AUC, to present unto him with funebral pomp over and above that, a stone slab with the usual MacPila address of valediction, a very fair-worded instance of false meaning adamology, we have done ours go helt with you, here, here with it, over given it skidoo. But house and all aboard ships, show coffins, Winding sheets, goodbye beer cheap, cinerary urns, lie aloud blasses, snuff chests, pochine tubs, lacrimal vases, hooden doses, reek water beckers, break middles, zoot zacks for eat lust, including up your healthing rook worst, and meet your softened fork and putsies. And for that matter, Javel also, any kind of inhumationary bric or brac for the adornment of his glass stone on Ophrium, would met these train of conditions, naturally follow, alas, in the ordinary course, enabling that round the world a wanderling's white did such as pass him to live all safe at homely the prescenile days of his life of opulence, ancient ere decrepitude, late Lent's last lenience, till stuffering stage, wailing away the whole of the while, hypnos kilia aeonian, lethe lulled between explosion and re-explosion, done our water, thunder thunder, from gross cop to megapod, embalmed of grand age, rich in death anticipated. But abide Zeit's summon serving, rise after fall. Blue blitz bolted from there, knowing the hinge worms of the hallmarks of habitationlessness, buried borrowing in Gehinnen, to proliferate through all his unterwealth, seam by seam, sheol on sheol, and revisit our upper crust Sideria of utilitarios, the divine one, the hoarder hidden, proper gooting his pluto-popular progenium of pots and pans and pokers and puns, from bidden land to boughten land, the spearway for the spoolway. The other spring offensive on the heights of Abraham may have come about all quite by accident, fought or answer, for Breda Bruder had at length persuaded him to have himself to be as septuply buried as the murdered Keen in Fintown, had not been three monads in his watery grave. What vigilantes and ridings then, and spite wine pledges with hard apple frittling. 
when portrification, dryfust as ever, began to ramp, ramp, ramp the boys are parching. A hoodenwinkle gave the signal, and a blessing paper freed the flood. Why did the patrician make him scares with his gruntons? Because the driven were muscatting at the door. From both Celtiberian camps, granting at the onset, for the sake of argument, that men on the two sides, in New South Ireland and Vetera Ula, Bloomin and Pillfaces, during the ferment with the Pope or on the Pope, had moors or lets, grant ideas, granted, all conditions, poor cons and divies more, each, of course, on the purely defensive, since the Eternals were always on their side every time, were drawn towards their Bellona's black bottom, once Woolwhite's waltz, Oh, we bow, how be crimed, be curse kissed, and be dumb to it. Some for want of proper feeding in youth, others already caught in the honourable act of slicing careers for family and carvers in conjunction, and if emaciated enough, the person garroted may have suggested, to whomever he took the ham of, the plane being involved in darkness, though Sirk Waggery, nay even the first old wagger of himself in the flesh, we guess him as incarnadined, when false sighted by the, if such he was, bully on the hill, for there had circulated freely, fairly among his opposition, the feeling that in so hibernating, Massa Iwaka, who, previous to that demi-detached life, had been known of barmicidal days, Cook said, between soups and savers, to get outside his own length of rainbow trout and tarts at a tarn, as no man of woman born they could, like the great crested brebe, devour his three score ten of roach per life day. I and as many minnow a minute, the big mix, may gibbet choke him, was like the salmon of his ladder leap all this time of totality, secretly and by suckage, feeding on his own misplaced fat. Ladies did not disdain those pagan ironed times of the first city, called after the ugliest Danadune, when a frond was a friend in need, to carry, as earwigs do their dead, their soil to the earth ball, where indeed we shall calm decline our legacy unknown. Venuses were giggly temptatrix, Vulcans guffawably eruptious, and the whole wives' world frock full of fickles. Fact, any human Indian you liked, any air noon or after, would take her bare godkin out, or an even pair of them, look god, look god, ooh, and prettily play with him, or with them even, every he to her taste, long for luck, tapet and tape petter, and take pettest of all. Tip. Wells she'd woo, and wills she's win, but how the dear knowed where she'd marry. Arbor, bucket room, caravan, ditch, coach, carriage, wheelbarrow, dung cart. Kate Strong, a widow, tip-tip, she pulls a lane picture for us in a dreary o dreamer setting, glowing and very visual of old Dumplin' as she knows it, a home-like cottage of elven stone, with droppings of biddies, stinkin' pushies, moggies, doggies, rotten witcher wobbles, festering rubbages, and beggars bullets, if not worse, sending salmoferious germs in gleefully through the smithereen panes. Widow Strong, then, as her weaker had turned him to the wall, tip, 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 did most all the scavenging from good King Hamlock's golden dane, though her lean besom cleaned but sparingly, and her bare statement reads that there being no macadamized side tracks on those old necropolitan knights in, barring a footbat her Bryant's causeway, bordered with speedwell, white clover, and sorrel a wood nose, which left off being beaten where the plaintiff was struck, she left down as scavengers who will be scavengers must, her filth dump near the Serpentine in Fornix Park, at her time called Finewell's Keepsaker, but later Tartau Baptist Pat's Purge, that danger field circling butcher's wood where fireworker O'Flaherty engaged a nutter of Castle Mallards and Ah Faracha Stun's Turk, all over which fossil footprints, boot marks, finger signs, elbow dints, breech bowls, A.S.O., were all successively traced of a most involving description. What subtler time-place of the weald than such wolf's belly castrament to will hide a lure from Thursman's brandy hands or a love letter lostfully hers that would be lust on Ma than then when ructions ended, than here where race began, and by four hands of forethought the first babe of reconcilement is laid in its last cradle of Hume, sweet Hume. Give over it, and no more of it. 
to pass the pick for child's sake. Amen. For here all highest sprack for Christians, as for propaganda fides, and his nuptial eagles sharped their beaks of prey, and every mortal man of us, poem by poem, falls back into this terrain. As it was, let it be, says he. And it is as though, where Agni Ariflamed and Mithra monished and Shiva slew, as Maya Mutras, the obluvial waters of our noachic memory withdrew, windingly go harksome, to some hasty's wasty timberman torch priest, flame and fan, the ward of the wind that lightened the fire that lay in the wood that Jove bolt at his rude word. Posidonia so fluctuary, lave that bloody stone as it is. What are you doing, you dirty minx, and his big tree block way up your path? Slip around you by the rear of the ministers. And you, take that barrel back where you got it, Max Shane's, and go the way your old one went, Hatchetsbury Road. And gish, how they gushed away the penny fares, a whole school for scamper, with their sashes flying sish behind them, all the little pearly pets. Ici la chapelle. Any lucans, please? Yes, the viability of vicinals, if invisible, is invincible. And we are not trespassing on his corns, either. Look at all the plutch. Fluminian. If this was Hannibal's walk, it was Hercules' work. And a hundred thousand of the unemancipated slaved the way. The mausoleum lies behind us. O oh, agigasta, multi populi pater. And there are milestones in their cade millias faltering along the train's track by Brahm and Anton Hermes. Per omnibus secula secularum. Amen. But the past has made us this present of a reader road. So, more bore, O'Connell. Though rainy hidden your rhino hide, and if he's not a Romeo, you may scallop your hat. Where up under in the fane of St. Fiacre. Alt. It was hard by the house there, plainly on this disolluded and a buck and coal spot, rupestric then, resurfaced, that now is, that Luttrell sold if Luttrell bought, in the saddle of the Brennans, now Malpa's place, pass, verse and verse from true civilization, not where his dreams topped their traums halt, beneath there, beneath there, but where live land yon tide mirrored with the wild, saltly with flood, that the attackler, a crop atkin, though under medium and between colours, with truly native pluck, engaged the adversary, who had more in his eye than was less to his leg, but whom, for plunder's sake, he mistook in the heavy rain to be Oglethorpe, or some other gink as par, apparently, to whom the head and heelless chicken nest egg bore some Michelangelo-esque resemblance, making use of sacrilegious languages to the effect that he would challenge their hemispheres to exterminate them, but he would canonize the B-blank-Y, B-blank-R's life out of him and lay him out contritely as smart as the B-blank-R had his B-blank-Y night prayers said, three Patrick Nosters and a couplet Helmwiris, tout est sacré pour un sacre, femme ma barbe ou un nourrice, at the same time, so as to plug well let the blobby whale goats out of him, catching host of an oblong bar he had, and with which he usually broke furnitures, he rose the stick at him. The border incident pre-repeated itself. The pair, whether they were Nipoluono engaging Wailing Dao, or the Raskers trying to reconnoitre the General Bukalev, man may not say, struggled apparently for some considerable time, the cradle rocking equally to one and oppositely from the other on its law of capture and recapture, under the all-in rules around the book safe, fighting like purple top and tipperuri swede, sacramented servius of the divine zeal, and in the course of that tussle, the toller man, who had opened his bully bowl to beg, said to the miner who was carrying the worm, a handy term for the portable distillery, which consisted of three vats, two jars, and several bottles, though we purposely say nothing of the stiff, both parties having an interest in the spirits, let me go, Pauline. I hardly knew you. Later on, after the solstitial pause for refreshment, the same man, or a different and younger him of the same ham, asked in the vermicula, with a very ugly chew-chin grin, was six victolios fifteen pigeon takey offer you tell him he's long fella by picky pocky ten to foul months behind the side? 
There was some further collider banter and severe tries to convert for the best part of an hour. And now, a warden affair in the shape of a Webley, we at once recognise our old friend Ned, of so many ill or temperate letters, fell from the intruder, who, as stuck as that cat to that mouse in that tube of that Christchurch organ, did the image of girl cloud pensive float above them light young charm in ribbons and pigtail, whereupon became friendly and saying not his shirt to tear to no wanted, joking and knob carries all aside laying, if his change companion, who stuck still to the invention of his strong box with a tenacity corroborating their mutual territorial rights, happened to have the loot's change of a ten-pound crickler about him at the moment, addling that hap so he would pay him back the six vicks odd, do you see, out of that for what was taken on the man of samples last uni or you lie, do you follow me, Captain? To this, the other, Billy with the bull, who had mummed and mauled up to that, for he was hesitancy carried to excelsism, rather amusedly replied, woo, woo, would you be grossly surprised, Hill, to learn that, as it so happens, I honestly have not such a thing as the loo, as the least chance of a tin-panned crackler anywhere about me at the present more or moment, but I believe I can see my way, as you suggest, it being yuletide or yudenfest, and as it's mad not son for you when it's hatter's hair's man for me to advance you something like four and sevenpence between hopping and trapping, which you might just as well have boy bashes to buy J.J. and S. with. There was a minute silence before memory's fires rekindling, and then, heart alive, which at very first wind of gay gay and whiskwigs, wicks ears pricked up, the starving gunman strike him pink, became strangely calm, and forthright swear by all his lards personal that the thorn tree of Sheol might ramify up his sheophone to the looks of point legs, but he would go good to him some time, marks my word for it, for a chip off the old flint. In the Nichtian glossary which purveys a prioric roots for a posteriorious tongues, this is nat language at any sense of the world, and one might as fairly go and kiss his sprogs as fail to certify whether the war trophy eluded at some lives earlier was that something like a jug to what a cocktable. And remarksing in languid oily, seemingly much more highly pleased than tongue could tell at this opening of a lifetime and the foretaste of the Dunbank Pearl Mothers and the boy to wash down which he would feed to himself in the Ruhr Cow at Talacht and then into the good woman at Riggins End, and after her in at Conway's in at Black Rock, and, first of all, cursed be all, where appetite would keenest be at funeral fair or fun fane reel, Adam and Eve's in Quantity Street, by the grace of gamey Queen Torture, her will and testament. You stunning little South Downer, I'd know you anywhere, Declaney, let me truthfully tell you, in or out of the lexinction of life and who the hell else, be your blanche patch on the bony part. Gold ball, I've struck this daylit, dilate night of nights, by golly. My hat, you have some bully German grit, Sundowner. He's spotting his Faust accent. He toped the raw best, pardon. He poked his pick, a tip is a tap, and he tucked his friend's leave. And with French hen, or the portly folium of hastes and leisures, about to continue that, the queer mixture exchange, the pax and embrace, or pogue poxy, as practised between brothers of the same breast, Hillelulia, Hillelulia, Allen a law, and having ratified before the god of the day their Torgon truce, which belittlers have small called the treating to cognac, turning his fez menial straight in the direction of Moscas, he first got rid of a few mitz millers and hurushus, and levanted off with tubular jurbulence at a bull's run over the Asbach Bridge, spitting his teeth on Ruth with the seven and four in Dane Geld and their humoral hurl bat or other uncertain weapon of lignum vitae, but so evermore ruminant of a toboggan poop, picked up to keep some crow plucking appointment with some rival Rialtos anywheres between Pea Ridge and the Little Horn, while this poor Delaney, who they left along with the Confederate fender behind, and who, albeit balls bluffed, bore up wonderfully wondered all of it with a whole number of plum-sized contusions plus a la sala bruised coccyx all over him reported the occurrence in the best way he could to the flabbergaze of the whole lab giving the paddy banners the military salute as for his excellencies the odafi in justifiable hope that 
in Nobilo Roman review of the hugely satisfactory conclusion of their negotiation and the juggle monkish agrippment day in derivative, some lotion or fomentation of poppy heads would be generously exhibited to the parts at the nearest watch house in Vicar Lane, the white ground of his face all covered with diagonally red-crossed, non-fatal mammalian blood as proof positive of the seriousness of his character and that he was bleeding in self-defiance, stanch it, from the nostrils, lips, pavilion and palate, while some of his hitter's hairs had been pulled off his nut's head by colt, though otherwise his all-round health appeared to be middling along, as it proved most fortunate that not one of the 206 bones and 501 muscles in his corso was a whit the worse for her whacking. Her who? Now then, leaving clashing ash, brawn and muscle and brass made to oust earth and born and rock crystal to wreck Ising glass, but worming along gradually for our savings back towards Mother Waters, so many miles from Bank and Dublin Stone, Olympiading even till the 11th dynasty to reach that thuddy second Hamlaf, and to the question of Boney's unlawfully obtaining a pierced paraflam and claptrap fireguard, there crops out the still more salient point of the politish leanings and town pursuits of our forbear, El Don de Donnelly, nay, his ship thick stick in the bottle of the river, and all his cruisers stock locked in the burrow of the seas, who, when within the black of your toenails, sir, of being mistakenly ambushed by one of the Adavedas, and as close as made no matter, ma'am, to being KO'd offhand when the Huguenot heckler with the Peter the Painter wanted to hold him, was consistently practising the first of the primary and imprescriptible liberties of the Pacific subject by circulating, be British boys to your belly bone and chock a chum a chance, alongst one of our unprohibited cemetery through farts, open to buggy and bike to walk Wellington Park Road with the curb or Quaker's quack nostrum under his oxter and his alpen stuck in his red hand, a highly commendable exercise or number two of our acta legitima plebeia, on the brink, beware to balk a man at his will, of taking place upon a public seat to what? Bear by butts, most easterly, but all goes west of Blackpool Bridges, as a public protest and nature-like vice without intent to annoy either, being praise good, thankfully, for the wrath-bereaved ring dove and the fierce-tongued boar constrictor, and all the more right jolly well pleased, which he was, at having other people's weather. But to return to the Atlantic and Phoenicia proper, as if that were not to be enough for anyone, but little headway, if any, was made in solving the was-not-to-be crime conundrum, when a child of mom, festy king, of a family long and honourably associated with the tar and feather industries, who gave an address in old Plomanche Mayo of the Saxons in the heart of a foul-famed Cochin district, was subsequently hailed up at the Old Bailey on the Callans of Mars, under an incompatibly framed indictment of both the counts, from each equinoxious points of view, the one fellow's fetch being the other fellow's person, that is to see flying cushats out of his overalls and making fesses amongst his forces on the field. Oh, yea, oh, yea. When the prisoner, 